on our way to the top of the world to discover a rather interesting product and what it has to offer golfers. As always, getting there's half the fun. This time, courtesy of Iceland Air, from Glasgow to Keflavik, where the business class fare was most appreciated, followed by a short hop from Reykjavik to the northern capital of Akureyri. Then on by road to a little town called Siglo. That's the shortened version of its real name, which I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce. Besides, everybody else just calls it Siglo. And we've come all this way to meet this man, Robert Goodfinson. Robert's a bit of a phenomenon in his hometown, and so he should be. In terms of industry and opportunity, only a few years ago, Siglo was on its knees. But now this charming little fishing village, only 23 miles from the Arctic Circle, is firmly on the up and is becoming a tourism hotspot complete with a brand new Siglo Hotel and of course, the obligatory sauna and thermal hot tub. Siglo's fortunes turned around when Robert came home at the height of the Icelandic economic meltdown and opened up a new factory producing a supplement that promises to alleviate issues of ageing, such as stiff joints and muscles. But more on that in a moment. It's all happening these days in Siglo, including their own microbrewery, where you can sample the brews straight out of the kettle. Today, Siglo is one of the healthiest, most thriving communities in Iceland. At the far end of town, it even has a brand new golf course. The population is on the up again with young families moving from Iceland's capital of Reykjavik and indeed other parts of Europe to take advantage of the town's easy-going pace and superior quality of life. There's plenty of work with young businesses springing up and a large factory at the centre of it all, the one that produces the so-called wonder pill, the nectar. As well as to find out more about Panecta, we've come here to golf, and Seagro's brand new course has been built to top class European standards. Some of us were enjoying the round a bit more than others. We played two other courses in Iceland's north. Accurary Golf Club is the most northerly 18 hole golf course in the world. I guess that makes Siglo the most northerly 9 holer. Accurary hosts the annual Arctic Open Tournament, which for more than 20 years has attracted golfers from all parts during the summer solstice when the sun barely sets. We also played at Golf Club Hamar, near Dalvik, a few miles to the south, a superb little nine-holer with yet again the customary amazing views from each and every hole. What about a bit of whale watching? No, we weren't trying to catch one. From the port of Dalvik, you travel quite a distance, but it's worth it as this is where the humpbacks like to hang out. And once we found them, they didn't seem to want to leave. They just kept waving hello, friendly creatures that they are. During our few days adventuring in Iceland's enigmatic north, the weather was simply amazing crystal clear skies and warm temperatures, in spite of snow still clinging to the mountainsides. Time for some more golf! The brand new course at Siglo offers 9 holes with 18 different tees and the customary stunning views. In spite of its youth, the course is already a good test, with a design that's up to any international standard. We took to the first tee in time for midnight and by the appointed hour, we could clearly still see where our drives were landing. At 1am, it was as bright as a typical Dundee afternoon. To give a bit more insight into Benecta, here once again is Robert Goodfinson. So Robert, um, take, take us back to the beginning, how this all kicked off, you know, when you were a young man. I was running a shrimp peeling plant in the town and uh, I was busted dumping the shrimp shell to the water and uh, this came into the media. Old friend of mine called me and said, hey, have you heard about product called chitin you can produce out of the shrimp shell? I said, no, 
I never heard about it. And he introduced this for me. So we learned about it and we built up a plant, plant who could produce this product out of uh, shrimp shell. So it was as simple as that then, you know, just uh, the fact that you got busted and you found out there was a, that, that brought the publicity and awareness and there was a product to be had from the shrimp shells. It's a long road and a lot of mistakes and a lot of learning. Uh, Anecdotal evidence seems to suggest that taking two tablets per day has a noticeable effect in the increased levels of energy and improvement in the mobility. Very good for the golf swing. I bet a couple of locals who'd been taking Benecta for a long time and were enthusiastic to say the least. This chap had suffered from psoriasis and believed that taking Benecta had more or less cleared it up. A woman in her early 80s had suffered from arthritic pain and stiffness over the long term. Now she was taking the lead role in an advert promoting Benecta, showing her skimming across the fjords in a powerboat. She didn't have any English, but I could tell she was clearly a convert. A golfer in our midst had been on the supplement for several months and swore by it. The swing certainly didn't seem any the worse for wear. I've been taking Benecta since that visit nearly two months ago and I have to admit my golfer's elbow, which was a bit of a problem, seems to have settled. These niggly issues can be subtle and to be honest mine were not that bad but if you have some clear pain problems due to joints and muscle ache, I definitely recommend trying Benecta for at least a three month trial. Now I wonder if they could invent something to sort out a duck hook 